entire fleet. Um, so if that's a given, uh, it will be one of the uh, first routes to receive the greater capacity busing, which in itself will improve the situation on the pitch. Um, so we have looked at other options. We looked into options as the paper describes. Um, and uh, 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 we, we do, we've done so mindful of the, of the council's decision around uh, supporting an LRT on Finch Avenue. So um, what this paper talks to is a, a number of potential uh, further improvements with transit priority signals and with future planes. Um, but we're trying to be practical here. What we say in the paper for debate is that um, there are options around uh, adding capacity in the form of those two systems. Um, but that uh, we should um, flag the fact that given the uh, LRT is going to go in on Finch, um, is there a value for money debate to be had given that uh, there will come a point where uh, obviously there's a need time to, to actually construct the uh, few jump zones if we go down that road. They would only have a very finite life before the LRT was built, certainly Western Peel. Um, we do differentiate East of Peel where the LRT, because of the phasing of the project, would take longer to implement. So there could be an argument to say that if one to, if council were minded or commission, sorry, were minded to uh, to have expenditure on on uh, infrastructure such as queue planes, there's a stronger case east of Peel. Certainly west of Peel, um, the case is somewhat compromised by the fact that the LRT will uh, get started from 2014 in terms of construction. Um, now, uh, none of this is funded, and that needs to be understood. Uh, we table the paper for discussion by uh, commissioners and obviously commissioner, uh, so councillor Somerty has a particular view on this. So I think those are the key headlines that Nick Chisholm wish to add to that. Question? Um, no, I think uh, Ms. wanted to make a point about the LRT maximize our ability to operate the line quickly. However, as the CEO just said, with the imminent, uh, we believe in the imminent construction of LRT west of Kiel, it would seem unwise to spend upwards of uh, 400, 500 million dollars to build a DRT. Uh, thus, we backed off in the report to uh, look at the less capital intensive, which we outlined to the Q jump lanes. The benefit of the Q jump lane is at the points of worst congestion and delay and thus the cause of unreliable service, which in turn translates to much of the gap and the overcrowding and everything else. In those locations, which we're well aware of, if we have a means by which we can allow buses to bypass those, those delay points of congestion, we can accomplish a lot in terms of speeding service up and removing the causes of bunching and gapping without spending a lot of money. So we, we laid out 30 intersections where that kind of improvement can be made. Um, as Andy said, it, uh, it would be short-lived if the LRT is going to be constructed west of Kiel, uh, thus uh, a more um, financially uh, justifiable investment east of, if the Commission wanted to do that. The notion of improving signal priority uh, is, is twofold. One is that in a number of locations on Finch, our extension of green time for buses is limited to 16 seconds. Uh, that doesn't always allow us to get through on one cycle phase. Thus, if we were to work uh, with the city transportation services to get those extended to 30 second extension, as are as is in place in many other locations, that would uh, make that serve that uh, system more effective. If we also move the bus phase to the away side of an intersection, so. You get through the intersection, through the queue jump lane, and then all of the passenger boarding and lighting time takes place, that it makes an even more effective use of the clarity. So these are the, I would call, lower capital intensive options on the table. Um, and, uh, and, and queue jump lanes are something that we wanted to do in many, many locations throughout the city. There are lots of places we laid some of them out in the previous transit city bus plan. Uh, we just haven't had the capital funding to do it. But, you know, if and when the Commissioner Council has the appetite, we think we'd be able to demonstrate great benefits. Thank you very much. Uh, there are some questions. Commissioner Albert? Uh, well, my question had to do with the fundability. And I understand that the money is not there and that we would have to build it into next year's uh, capital student budget. Is that correct? <coughs> that's correct, then. Well, that's correct. Like, this is not part of the budget. And we would have to build approximately 25 to $30 million into next year's budget. 
Well, well uh, yes, were we to go for the whole scheme. I mean, the, the two options effectively described in this paper, Commissioner, one, uh, the overall scheme, and two, the uh, improvements east of the So we would be saving quite a bit if we put uh, well, the biggest bank for the park, which would be Keel to Young, but, and leave the rest. But the, the section east of Keel will yeah. be around about $7 million, but that's, that's yet to be confirmed, but that's our sort of ballpark figure. The overall scheme would be the larger figure that's quoted in this paper, namely up to $7 million. Okay, so if the, if the cost of putting in If the cost is only seven million for East of Keel, how can it be almost twenty million, almost three times that for West of Keel? Uh, because uh, I've got a to yes, on this because there's more um, infrastructure that we have to be on the western side. Uh, Madam Chair, maybe we didn't express it very clearly in the report. The Twenty-five million is the cost of doing the entirety of the <coughs> of the group, uh, plus the single priority enhancements. The section east of Keel constitutes about one third of the, the improvements you would make, and thus it constitutes about a third of the twenty-five million dollar cost, which is about seven million. Would the, if we opted for the cheaper uh, route and go the east of Keel route, uh, would it include the signal enhancements? Uh, Madam Chair, yes. So it would include the whole package. Uh, I'm sorry, we would include those from East Appeal. I mean, we would yes, do. Yes, of course. Bearing in mind that West Appeal, we would eventually get the LRT. Uh, uh, that would be the premise on which this would be done. Better. Okay, so if so, the money wouldn't be thrown away. Dollars wouldn't be thrown away if we only did the work East Appeal. Um, well, I mean, it depends how you define the turn away. There's certainly um, more longevity in the work if we're to do it east of Peel because the LRT will take longer to get to that state. The appendices at the back of the paper, Commissioner, um, give you a description of what the overall uh, package would deliver by way of improvements. Um, and it's broken down by geographical uh, location, so you can extrapolate from that what would be delivered by uh, either the whole package or that east of Peel. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, before we go to other additional questions,